Hey friends, what's going on? How are you? Um, yeah, every once in a while I make one of these AI videos for teachers. And uh, today is one of those. Uh, this is looking at Notebook LM, which was released by Google. I think relatively recently, I don't actually know the history on it, like the dates. All I know is it came to my attention this past week. And so I figured I would finally play around with it. Notebook LM takes uh, any files you want to put into it and it enables you to analyze them. And then it uses uh, Google's AI, which is called Gemini, in order to be able to ask questions and see what's going on and so on. And so uh, I figured I would uh, play around with it a little bit this weekend, and I've been quite impressed with it. So I thought I might kind of demonstrate some of the ways in which I've played around with it. The, the first thing I did was to analyze my mid-semester one check-in information uh, feedback from my students. I get Likert style, like one through fives, and I can do that in a spreadsheet, but then I also get some qual stuff. And so I, I just uploaded the qual stuff, anonymized, of course, but um, just, just uploaded the qual stuff in here as a PDF. And you can see that here. Uh, it, this is like the text version of the PDF that it generates. And um, it gives you a little AI generated summary and things you can like click through and talk about them. And you can see, like, if I click that button there, now it's going to send a prompt in here. And so it's going to ask Gemini to go into any of the files in its sources and then give me some information about it. And so this is really, really helpful, right? And it's also sourced within the document, so I can, like, click buttons and I get taken to where it is in the source, which is pretty remarkable. Um, yeah, and so these kinds of things have pretty obvious applications. Uh, for people in education and otherwise as well. Um, you get this chat. The chat does disappear unless you save stuff to the notes. So if you leave the document and you come back into the notebook later, any of the chats that you've come up with, if you haven't pulled them out otherwise by copying them or otherwise, if you haven't clicked the save to notes, they won't be there when you get back, but you can always just throw the same kind of chat again. And so here are a couple of notes that I had saved. So uh, this was kind of neat. I had... Um, asked it to go through and just code out the tools that students mention and the techniques that students mention in both positive and negative context. Generate as a table. Currently, the table doesn't show up in the save note. It does show up in the chat when you ask it to do it. So I just copied it out of there for use in my own survey. Um, and that's just really, really, really helpful and kind of crazy if you think about it, that it's going through and doing that. Uh, that would take me a lot of time otherwise. I asked it some other questions about, you know, student perspectives and other notes like that. And you get this little notebook guide down here, which is kind of neat. I'm going to click this button while I talk about it. So um, it gives you a summary. It helps you, sets you up to create different things if you wanted to create study guides or timelines or whatever. It gives you some suggested questions, which are really cool. But it also does this thing, which is functionally a gimmick for something like this analysis, but is still really interesting. It generates a podcast style uh, audio clip discussing the document and so i'm going to play this all right listen today we're doing something kind of <laughs> super we're diving into dr Muskie's ap bio class but not in the usual way yeah we're not talking see it's book. okay i'm going to stop this here you don't need to listen to this but uh, like it's crazy that it does that and that's definitely the thing that i've been sending to people just to demonstrate how nuts this is that it generates 10 and a half minute discussion between two co-hosts uh, based on this kind of stuff, it's it's wild. Um, if we go back over here, notice a couple of things. First, it is currently experimental. So um, some of the things I've talked about, I'm sure will get worked out over time. What else have I done? I've put in things like our faculty handbook or our student handbook, our program planning guide. I put in um, the student and teacher materials from our unit two. We use Open Syed for that. And I used it to help me generate some summative assessment ideas to ask for some uh, support at different points and so on, which I thought was incredibly useful for sure. Um, actually use that to help generate the summative assessments that we're going to use, at least in draft form. I also, and this was really cool, I put in the audio of a coaching exchange that I had with a teacher partner last year, and um, just the audio of it, and it made an audio excerpt from it, and then I could ask it questions about it. And I'm not a coach this year, but these are the kinds of things I've always wanted. Like, what are all the questions I asked at different points 
during this transcript? Or um, how could I move the conversation forward? What could I do to improve my coaching, uh, et cetera? And so that was really, really helpful as well. I'm sure I'm going to have a million more uses for this tool, but I really found it to be remarkable and uh, very easy to use. And so I figured I would just make this video to show you what it looks like as well. Cool. Thanks. Have a good day.